I... We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, this lot will be talking Nadia, Makosi, uh, and uh, oh, right down to Chinatown. So it's going to be completely chop suey. See you then. <laughs> and he loves blowjobs. It's the acceptable face of the Antipodes. It's Jared Christmas! Yeah. If you type the name into Google, you'll come up with a picture of Andy Osho. Yeah. Yeah. He is ultimate Big Brother legend and we're so glad to have her back. It's Makosi! Yeah. Yeah. He is going to go hard drive in your face. It's Tom Allen. Yeah. And in your face. What's that? Coming over the hill, it's the sexy audience! Yeah. Yeah. UK, listen up and understand what is about to go down. <laughs> this is fresh off the dirty, uncut flavour. We're talking drip flow, sterile go. Cut this up, sanitise and give it up for my boy Westwood! Yeah. This is Big Brother speaking. <laughs> Please come to the diary room. Diary room. Di 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 diary room. We're riding big with Westwood's clip of the week. Let's go in. And then it goes. Yeah. And then. Okay, I might oh my. Oh. <laughs> okay. Go hard or go home. Jared, is there anything else on second thoughts that you would like to ask Makosi? <laughs> or anything you'd um, like to breathe, say? Breathe. I, I, I would like to ask you, um, if you'd stayed in the Big Brother house a lot longer, what would you, your mission plan have been? Game plan, yeah. Game what plan. would your game plan have been? To sort what of was going to go down Makosi style? I think there was so much excitement and so much <laughs> gratitude for us to be, make, to be having game plans. We're just all having a good time to be there. So I didn't really have a game plan. Maybe that's why I'm here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have thought yeah. of one. I, I'm, I probably should have thought of one. OK, and uh, Andy? Yep. I'm just happy to be making a white man sandwich. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Sorry, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> It's the first yeah, time I've been the filler. <laughs> Woo -woo! Yeah, you're filler. Um, I'm the cosy. Oh, you're so lovely. Um, but, <laughs> okay, so am I allowed to go to that place, right? If you, obviously you weren't pregnant, but I think, but if you had been, do you think you would have had a water birth, like, to commemorate how the conception... All right, not that question, not that, that question. Not, I'm not going there. there, I'm not going there. Laugh it, um, laugh it, laugh it through, win? laugh it through. Who do you, who <laughs> do you want to win? Nikki. Nikki? Nikki. Okay. Good choice. Okay, so you know the audience. Nikki, Nikki. 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 Cozy, like really, honestly, with the, the par shower and everything like that. Oh. Were you really doing it all for publicity? Like walking off tonight as well, it's all for publicity, no, isn't it? No, she's What's like that. that. Oh, she's come a, on. She's please. the queen of Africa. Oh, well, well, just to be very, to be very honest, when I, when I was in Big Brother the first time, we showered outside. I went to boarding school, we showered outside. So showering outside for me is not a big deal. But, but everything but seems Cozy, so staged now. I think what now. you're saying, what you're nice. saying is that you quite like to... Show yourself off, or not? Like, you know, like, like, like I said, like I said <laughs> earlier, <laughs> like I said earlier, I, I've I've been like this. You've got it flaunted, right? Am I right? If you've got it flaunted. He hasn't got it. Put it I away. Got it. Oh. Davina, that hurts. <laughs> Right. Ask. Why did you let what John said about your religion affect you so much? Yes. No, because mm. what? <laughs> yes. yes. I love you at the front. <laughs> yes. Um, really? Yeah. They, they do look alike. Um, sisters. <laughs> sisters. You're sisters. Why are you separated? Do you know, do you know my oh, religion, my, relig my spirituality more yeah. than my religion 
means a lot to me. It's why I wake up in the morning. And when somebody says there is no God, I'm, I'm now asking myself, so why am I waking up? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? You know, so, so it's I mean, really I kind of... Be you stronger are. though to say it doesn't matter what he says. And says, to I be very, know. very honest, John wanted us to nominate him mm -hmm. because yeah. he was being funny. And with Big Brother, you have to give a reason. Yeah. So that was, he gave, he you know, gave he gave me, I've got, I, you, he gave me a reason to give a reason for yeah. that, really. But Listen, me and John re, got on really well. We even he went into the jacuzzi together. He you and your big mammalian <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Tom, what uh, would you like to ask? Have you got a question you'd like to ask? Well, I've person? got some nice ones. People, I hope you don't mind this one. I think it's meant well. This is from Princess Dars. Makozi, I think your body is amazing. <laughs> but, but seriously, are your boobs real? If they are, if they are, you are, you are one lucky bitch. Oh. <laughs> Everybody, that is done. true. Everybody's been asking, are they 100% real? They are 100% real. Well done. Well done. Well done. Can I just ask, um, have you and Anna need to talk, not talked about that before over the last four years? Is this, was this the was first time? Was that the time? first time that you'd Literally seen Anthony or discussed him? him? No, we Dis never spoke because every, every time we bumped into each other, he was with his mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Yeah, so we couldn't really talk. talk so that. yeah. Do you not have his number to give him a call? No, or no. Call him no. no. Has, have you always been wondering then exactly what? Sorry? Have you always been wondering? Yeah, I have wondered. I not have anymore. Wondered. But not anymore. And I'm going to leave it at that. We can, can, I don't want to get into any more trouble. Who else has got a question oh, that they'd yeah. like to ask? Down the, the front. Yep. Down the front. Going back to the boob situation. <laughs> um, I like men, and even I was like mesmerised. So I think you should be quite proud of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like men. <laughs> I've got, I've got a nice, I've got one I here. I think I just want to put my face in there and have a well, good old jiggle. Well, someone Tom. said, someone called Ben says, that's just their name, Ben. Uh, Makozi is so fit, it ain't even funny. Dot, dot, dot. Can I have her number? <laughs> we, we gave it to them. Oh, that's okay, we just yeah. gave it. <laughs> John, yes? You are fit, by the way. Thank you. But also, why, when you said you went into poli political exile the last time, and then you were still quite brazenly talking about sex and stuff, I just didn't get it. Yes, yeah. so she's... Yes. You, no, but, but, you know, th that's who I am, and probably that's why I'm here. Um, I, 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 can't, I can't be but what I'm not. again? I, I can't be what I'm not, really, you know, because someone somewhere, some president somewhere or some prime minister somewhere, yeah. somewhere does not agree with who I am. Yeah, Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Fair play. Fair play, right. Listen. Big Brother, Big Brother 1 winner, Craig... Phillips rocked up this week to build a shed quicker than the housemates with his magic screwdriver. It was really nice, wasn't it, to see him again. I love him. But what uh, has the cheeky chappy chippy chippy chappy uh, been up to for the past decade? Well, listen, I'm not sure that you guys are going to actually believe this, but basically he has been a bit of a bastard. <gasps> no. Big Brother One winner, Craig Phillips. Celebrity entrepreneur and charity campaigner. He's an all-round Mr. Nice Guy, or is he? Since winning Big Brother in 2000, Phillips has built a vast carpentry empire, turning over billions each year. But with closer scrutiny, we can reveal that dirty tricks have played a key hand in Phillips' fortunes. A Big Brother sweatshop in the form of a fake charity, the Helper Housemate Foundation. Seen here inaugurated by the Prime Minister's wife in 2005. I set up Help the Housemate Foundation. It's a charity run by myself, basically to help the ex-housemates. They're all not doing very well, and I thought to myself, it's a good way helping them back into the community in there. Obviously, it's a non-profit making scene on my behalf, of course. Big Brother Series 3 contestant Alex Sibley was the first to be brought onto the scheme. Well, I was um, struggling just after Big Brother. You know, it was, it was hard to get work, and... Uh, um, he taught me some skills, woodwork, and he said if I worked for him, I'd get a cut out of uh, anything that I made. And, and how much money have you got? I haven't had anything. <laughs> Nothing. Alex is not the only housemate whose life has been ruined by Phillips. Big Brother winner Anthony Hutton was also stung by the scheme. Right, this is one of the sweatshops Craig had, had us working for. Um, and it wasn't just housemates that were working here. I mean, there was uh, young children working here. There was old people working here. I mean, even some people died and they were just getting dragged out. 
If we weren't working hard enough.